subscribe to cancel culture, hookup culture, or victim culture? Well, neither could we. We created this platform for those other girls, girls like us, who want to give a different perspective from a Christian and conservative worldview. We talk about life, work, relationships, pop culture, and everything in between. So let's be those other girls that just don't talk about culture, but change culture. listening to our segment dear other girl where we give advice and this time it's solicited okay we have our submission for dear other girl for this week says dear other girl recently i have noticed that my husband does not make attending our church a top priority for himself this makes me worried because our faith is important to us as a couple and also as individuals or so i thought it was Also, we have two young boys that I want to be raised with strong faith as well. Dads are very important model role models for that. Long Mm -hmm. story short, what would what would your approach be if you had a similar issue? Communication is key, but I don't want to be a nagging wife. Thank you so much. Well, first of all, thank you for writing in. Yeah, Um, a real submission. This is awesome. Yeah. Um, Freeman, you should go first since you are actually married. Well, I think that I would say a lot of married women actually deal with this a lot more than you would think. I think that women's idea of faith is a lot more, um, objective, right? Church, prayer every day, fasting every week or during Lent or something like that. It's very, very objective. It's clear. There's really no you know, there's no wishy-washiness with it. I think men tend to have a different kind of connection. They tend to have different places and times and ways that they connect with God. And for, I know for women, this is confusing because really what we're laying out are the tenets of Christianity. And we don't really understand how this isn't speaking to other people, especially, you know, husbands. But I think a lot of women are dealing with feeling like they're nagging as far as church attendance and participation and maybe even being there for their children. Like it's just nagging, nagging, nagging. And it is such a vicious circle that I think women have found themselves in. My advice would be definitely do not nag him. Like I think his faith life is his faith life. You are not responsible for it. Yes, you should always invite him. Always, always encourage him to go and ask him what connects him to God. Is it prayer late at night? Does that mean you might have to stay up late? Is it, he doesn't prefer prayer. He prefers just going for a walk. I mean, how can you meet him where he's at in his spiritual journey rather than asking him to be where you're at in yours I think that's a that's a really great way of having spiritual strength is not being intimidated when someone else isn't at the place that you're at does that make sense yes I like a lot of what you said I think um one thing that you said that really stood out was his example of closeness with God might look a little different than yours I -hmm. think that's one thing that's important I will say, so a question that I would have is, have things changed? So has he always been more of Mm. like, um, not someone who really likes to go to the church? If Mm -hmm. he has not, then I think a real honest conversation, hey, what's going on? Recently, it seems as if you're not interested in going to church. What is it? How can we work in this together? I also like how you said um, about the not the nagging aspect. I think that's something that just naturally as women, because we are fixers. That's just some kind of something that mm-hmm. like we all naturally kind of want to, okay, how do we help this? Like, you're upset. What do I need to do to help you not be upset? Mm-hmm. When really he cannot be upset. I don't know if you guys have seen the, um, there's a nail. It's not about the nail video where a woman has like a nail in her hand or in her head. and um, she is upset about something and the boyfriend's like well just remove the nail she's saying her head hurts and he's like well just remove the nail she's like it's not about the nail we as women our minds are just (laughs) thinking we just think differently about situations so we're going to worship differently it's going to look differently um but i think if it's 
not attending church i think is kind of a big thing actually Mm -hmm. in the sense of like if it's changed so like if he just now is kind of like i'm not really into church i think like i said asking the question um asking the question like um is there something that has happened recently so maybe he doesn't really like the service Maybe yeah. he doesn't. Or the new pastor. Or the new or... pastor. Yeah. Or I'll say, like, the times where there are times in my life where I'm like, church today, I can't wait to go. And usually it's because of the pastor and because I have a good community. I think that's a big thing, especially for men. Men really do need a community. Does he have a group of men that he goes to Bible study with, that he likes at his church? I think just kind of doing that. And I think having just an honest conversation. I like what you said about the praying at night. My dad, ever since I was a kid, my dad always, like, sometimes it'll wake me up. My dad is an early morning prayer. Like, I can hear him downstairs. Like, he'll be praying. Um, and then if he, like, makes his breakfast that day, I can hear him, And that would wake me up. But my <laughs> mom isn't like that at all. So it just really is just, like, everybody's prayer life looks differently. Possibly just see if how his looks differently. And last thing I think I want to say about the boys, I do think, um, I don't want to say, like, he needs to get himself together but I do think it's going to be important for your sons to see how your husband interacts because women obviously we have a a huge impact on our children that's a given but I will say sons do kind of emulate their fathers more Mm because they just see themselves more in their father and depending on their age too if they're older boys they're definitely looking to the father young 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 boys I think are mama's boys there is there is like an age where they're really looking and following in the, that, those footsteps. So that's really true. Yeah. So that's like my advice. Have a conversation. Essentially, wrap all up my long processing. is essentially mm-hmm. just have a conversation with him and see what is it about the church that he's not liking anymore if he's changed. If he has always been this way, I think Freeman's advice is really good about the see where let's come together. What am I missing? How can we worship together? How how can we show our sons that this is how we should be doing this? Mm-hmm. And there is a level of responsibility wives have to their husbands and husbands have to their wives. I mean, mm-hmm. if marriage is a sacrament, then what is a sacrament? It's getting us to heaven. It's not just like an earthly kind of like we're cute together. It's like, no, I vow to do everything I can to get you into heaven. And you vowed to do everything you can to get me into heaven. So that's a big responsibility. Mm -hmm. But it ultimately requires a yes from that person. And so definitely be flexible. Do not condemn. Do not not be holier than thou. Do not put him down. Because for all we know, there really is something going on. Be flexible. Um, and be really open and, and be willing to to do what he needs in order to get over this kind of hurdle. Mm-hmm. If it means finding a different church, even if that church means a lot to you, if it even means he's looking at considering other denominations even, that's a really big thing that a lot of us think about. Like, mm-hmm. be open, be willing, and be anxious to be there for him. And I'm Sorry this you're going through this, but please know, Christian women do not talk about this nearly enough, about how a lot of a lot of Christian women just feel like their husbands aren't in it anymore. Yeah. And we don't talk about it because in a lot of ways it's shameful, but this happens to a lot of women. And last thing I want to say is um, I remember hearing this, I don't remember who it was from, but I remember hearing someone say that essentially what you, as a wife, what your goal is, uh, is not to pray to like change your husband, but pray that God will help you to help your husband. In a yeah. sense of like, instead of praying like, God, change and make him better. It's right. What can I do to help him do the right thing? thing or yes. help him come through this season because he could be going through like a season even questioning his faith I don't know but right. like your prayer is that how do you help him is not necessarily to change him so yeah. that's our advice um I hope this helps if you you know want to chat more please reach out yes please if, let us know if this was helpful yes and if you guys have any advice if you could leave some in the comments for her as well mm-hmm. all right bye bye